Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today, I'm going to be starting a little mini-series. We're going to be flipping computers to sell for much higher profits, get a lot more money, and of course get a cool couple of videos out of it. So basically, this is going to be like a budget PC kind of series only. It's going to be specifically for flipping computers to get much higher profit. So today, I've got a lot of computer components out of my desk, and you're going to be like, well, you know, what are we doing? Well, today, I've got a really interesting uh, flip that we're going to be doing. So first off, number one, I want to talk a little bit about the background of this, where this idea came from, and then I'm going to talk about the hardware, because the hardware I got for an insane deal, and I'll get into that later, but this, most of the stuff, all the stuff that we're going to be using in the system is under $30, and I should be able to resell this for a value of $500, so it's pretty interesting. So, let's start off with something pretty simple, explaining what uh, the background is for the story. Uh, so basically, long story short, I have a Discord server that I have a bunch of like techies, uh, some of the fans, some of the people that I've worked with, some people that I've done cool projects with, and one of them, Maker, he thought it was a good idea to go do with some PC flipping. And I really liked the idea and how he formatted that video and stuff, and it was a really interesting way of you know showing that anyone could make a quick penny if they went out and they had the time to go look for computer parts, find stuff, bid on stuff, and actually get it and put it together, and then make something look really nice and pretty. So what I did is, I thought that was such a great idea, I'm going to do it myself as well. So credit to him for the idea, and we're going to get into my little excursion on uh, how uh, I've got some pretty good deal, and I'm excited to see how much money I make from it. So first off, this is going to probably going to be multiple videos, there'll probably be one, two, and three. Um, probably the final one, of course, will be me selling the computer, how much I actually get for it. Um, and then, of course, first one will be building it. Um, I'm going to show you like what the parts are, explain what each of the parts are, um, do a lot of like the building close-ups, and then for the middle video we'll do something along the lines of, like setting up Windows, uh, seeing what, installing all the drivers, getting like the gameplay tests, see how well it performs, things like that. And as I said, finally we'll go through and we'll sell it and see how much we actually make at the end. So first off, just from like looking at the hardware we got here, I'm pretty sure I could sell this for $500 and make a pretty good penny off the $30 I started with. So let's explain that because there's going to be a lot of people who are like, ooh, $30 for all this was pretty interesting. So a little bit of the backstory is um, part of the thing that I do is I go yard selling every weekend. Uh, well, not every weekend, but usually I have something I'll see online and I'll be like, ooh, that looks interesting, and I'll go to that yard sale. And maybe not every day or every weekend, but once in a while I go yard selling, and especially if I see something good. And this weekend, this last weekend actually, I saw something really good. This guy had said that he had a bunch of computer parts that he, you know, was selling, and I was like, hmm, I really could get in on that. I don't know what the computer parts there are or are. There were no pictures, so I was like, hmm, okay, I'll see what I can do. So I show up, and the guy's got a lot of stuff in boxes. Uh, first thing I saw uh, was actually this board right here, and this actually had the cooler on it. I had to check to figure out what CPU was underneath it. Um, I actually haven't turned any of this on, so this could end up being really bad if none of this stuff actually works. And so this is this motherboard, and right off the bat, I noticed something on the RAM. This is 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 1,600 megahertz, which is an insane amount of RAM, especially when taking the fact that it's $100 uh, at mar fair market price. So I was like, hmm, okay. So I was like, okay, this is obviously something I need to, uh, especially if I'm going to resell this, I can still, that, that RAM is a good sign for the indicator of the quality of the rest of the system or how high-end it is. So I'm like, okay, well, obviously it's DDR3 and not DDR4, but it usually means we'll get like an i5 or something in there, and it's high-end RAM, and it's 16 gigabytes. So the RAM itself is a good deal. Um, and I, he had, I didn't talk to the dude at the price. I was still going through the box. There's a couple older systems. There's an older Athlon, a dual-core Athlon, and I haven't even checked at that. I'm pretty sure it's a Pentium. It's running DDR1, so uh, not the Athlon, but there's another Pentium that's running that DDR1. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to touch that. I might just end up throwing that away. But the um, pen, uh, Athlon s uh, system, I may just end up putting that in together, maybe throwing like a 500 gig hard drive, putting it all together and selling it for 20 bucks and making back all my money, uh, and then using, making, literally getting all the money from this and putting that in savings. So let's talk a little bit about the hardware that I was actually able to snap, snack. So this is from a past yard sale almost actually a year ago. And this is a GTX 660. This came with the box and everything. So like the original box that this came in is actually sitting back in my displays over here right there excuse me and so i've got this and it's a 660 and basically um this was 10 bucks this was how much they wanted for it um a little haggling and stuff and i was able to get this for 10 bucks so that's a nice little graphics card it's equivalent to a little slightly less than a 1050 so it's pretty much a low-end graphics card but it is a graphics card that is semi-relatable and semi-usable today so as i said this system right here is what really gets interesting so this is an i5 in this uh, socket right here, and this is an i5-750. Uh, the, the thing that I have in my test system is a 650, so it's kind of a really good deal on this RAM socket. So, you know. 
Um, so yeah, as I said, the memory is um, Sector 5, Patriot Sector 5, uh, 1600 megahertz, and it's a pretty pretty good amount of RAM, 16 gigabytes, especially at the time this was probably built. Um, the motherboard, I haven't really looked at. Um, it's probably about a $50 motherboard at the time. It probably You can probably get it for around 30 bucks now. But still, the motherboard is definitely a high-end stuff as well. High-end motherboard for what we can be doing at this budget. And so for a budget of $30, which is what I'm hopefully going to end up paying on everything, uh, we'll end up with something... Uh, that we can sell for a little bit more than that. So the cooler was already attached on there and there was a bunch of other hardware actually and other graphics cards um, that I don't particularly feel like I'm going to use because it's quite old, it's an 880, or 8800 uh, GTX. So I'm not going to be touching that. Um, as for hard drive, um, so long story short, um, there's a couple things I've gotten out of the trash. And so if you're understanding a little bit of the background on what I do, some of the stuff that I do is I do volunteering. I've done some like partnerships with some charities before. In particular, there's one that's up by, it's called the Cramden Institute. It's a little, it's actually a pretty good distance. But they do computer recycling stuff. They're an example of like a computer recycling uh, place, they, the charity. And they go through and they'll recycle stuff. And part of the thing is, is a lot of this stuff actually ends up going into the trash um, simply because there's problems with, like, it may not be exactly up to standard. So, uh, and then there's some other things I've also gotten out of different trashes. Um, if you just know where to look, I guess there's some things you can actually get for free if you know what you're doing. So this was, um, this is actually a one terabyte solid state hard drive. Um, it is used and I did have to do a lot of wiping. Um, but it was actually something I got from passed down. They were like, hey, hey, you want this? You just have to wipe it. And so I ended up wiping that and that's what I'm going to be using today. And then, as I said, we've got a disk drive. I feel like a disk drive, since it was in the trash, I might as well put it in there because it just adds like, hey, it's got a disk drive. I mean, not most computers, most computers nowadays don't have one. So I mean, hey, it's a disk drive. Let's put that in the system. It just an extra adding point and you could probably charge 10 bucks more for it when it was free. Uh, power supply is an 800 watt um, Antec silver power supply. So uh, 500 watts has enough for graphics cards. Um, we should be pretty good on that department and looking forward to seeing what everything looks like when it's set up and together. As for the case, I've got a lot of different options on cases. I actually have a couple of cases back here. Um, over there was a $10 case. Um, over here is a free case I got out of there. And this is my collection of boxes that I like to keep. But this case was also came with all these computer parts. And one of the things I really liked about this case is that it's actually got a spot for a hard drive to sit up on top. Um, so that way, if in case you want like quick eject of your hard drive and get out of there, like maybe a backup drive or something, it's really good for that as well. So I've got a lot of fans, a lot of different um, different things. Uh, the other sad note though is there is no side panel. So this computer um, doesn't have a side panel that's like you can see in the case, which is kind of a bad selling point when you're selling a gaming computer case or selling a gaming computer, but it does look pretty fly on the front. I like it, looks pretty cool. So I might end up um, switching out one of the side panels to put the um, silver or the clear side panel on here so just so it can be visible and I might end up putting an LED strip around it as well. So let's take a look at just the final uh, things, I guess the final goal of today's video is to actually build this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me going through and uh, building it. I'll talk about like what I think at the end. I'll turn it on, make sure it still boots and everything, make sure everything at least boots into some screen, install everything back, and then we'll get started in today's video. Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go
guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost my Darling, where were you When my heart was on the ground I thought time would prove That you would stick around I guess time starts down A king without his crown Now I'm breaking and you're faking, girl You never made a sound Okay, so I went through and I assembled the whole thing, and everything is working perfectly. I've got everything pulled up, all 16 gigs registered. I got two hard drives in there, and now here comes the moment where we've got to sit down and talk about a few things. Number one, I love the fact that it's, you know, very open. There's a lot of fans in here, but not many of them are colored, and especially light up, and especially when you're doing something and you're trying to sell. Uh, but aesthetics really mean a lot. So what I might do is I might take a couple of my extra blue fans, throw them in here to make it look a little bit more appealing. I also have to get a second bracket for this because the um, fan isn't actually held on well, and uh, I wouldn't want to like have that fall off. And then I bet you know no heat for whoever buys this or no uh, cooling for whoever buys this. So that's what I might do as well. There's a lot of USB ports on the back, um, and especially there's um, SATA um, e SATA ports as well. So it's um, a lot of those actually all of those case. So pretty much it's a really solid build. Um, overall, this I really think I can, if I touch this up, clean this up, make this look a lot nicer, uh, maybe add like a coat of uh, clean up some of the top, um, fix some of the scratches, get some like silver sharpie or something. I really, really think this could sell and do really good. Um, so here's also why I have some uh, opinions for the viewers. I'd like you all to kind of tell me what you think. So um, I need an, I'm thinking about adding a 120 gigabyte SSD, which is like 20 bucks um, to put Windows on and then have the two hard drives, and also adding um, maybe some more uh, blue fans as well. I'm thinking that if I do that, um, I think it's really, really going to look nice, um, and especially perform as well. And I think it will also be a good you know, selling point for people as well. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, thank you all for uh, watching, and uh, let me know what your comments are down in the, description, or down in the comments, or what your opinions are down in the comments. Goodbye.